What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. We're on Madden 22 and I got something kind of different today. Uh, Tyler Huntley has been playing great. He's the backup for the Ravens. He's been filling in for Lamar Jackson. He's been looking really, really good. He's young. This is his second year in the league, I believe, out of Utah. He looks like a Lamar Jackson clone. He plays super similarly. They're both really effective runners. He loves to go to his tight ends. He's super effective in all of those ways. The man deserves a shot to start in the NFL, I think. I think he really could do something. Obviously, it's really hard to tell with such a small sample size, but he looks like he could be the real deal. He played amazing this last weekend against the Baltimore Ravens. He might get another chance to start here um, in place of Lamar if Lamar can't go this weekend, and we might get a shot to see if he really is the real deal once again. But for the sake of this video, we went to the team that needed a quarterback most, and in my opinion, that is probably the Lions, and we gave him to the Lions. So we're going to see if he can help this team. We're going to see if he can fix this team, make them a playoff contender. Uh, I didn't want to make him too good, so I bumped his ratings up because he definitely deserved it after that Packers game. He had like 300 yards passing and 50 yards rushing, a couple touchdowns rushing, and a couple touchdowns passing. He deserved a big-time boost. So we made him a 71 overall. It's pretty... Well, it's, it's not good, but it's okay. He's got the chance to develop into something good. He's got a strong offensive line for sure. Uh, DeAndre Swift, great running back. Hawkinson, amazing tight end, and he loves his tight ends. Him and Mark Andrews have had a ridiculous connection recently. Defensively, we obviously need a ton of work still. That's going to be the weak spot of this team. we got to figure that out before we're going to have any success. But I think we can make this team work. I think we can do something here. We're going to run one season. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. So we're going to hop into the offseason and try to fix this team. Usually there's some good free agents. Usually we can get some really good draft picks and that can make our team a lot better. And we stand a shot at making uh, making the playoffs in the next year. Honestly, this team isn't that far off. We need it. If Huntley works out, this team isn't that far off. We need some receivers and then we need help on the defensive side. But that's really it. That's really it. We have the offensive line. We have tight end running back. And hopefully quarterback. That's an awesome foundation. We can make that work. So we're going to run this first season, see how we do. I'm assuming we're going to go straight to the offseason because it's not going to be good, probably. And then we're going to try to fix the team. We'll see how it goes. If you guys enjoy content like this, please drop a like, drop a sub. It helps me out a ton, and it means the world to me. I really would appreciate it. I'd love to see you guys coming back to the channel. Let's get into the video, guys. I'm going to simulate this first season, and I will see you guys at the playoffs. All right, first season is done, and we were 5-12. and 12. That shows how much of a difference someone like Tyler Huntley can make. They're five and 12, that's not bad. That is so much better than I would have expected. We are still gonna miss the playoffs, so we're just gonna hop straight to the off season, see what we can do to fix up this team and make it a contender. Five and 12 is a good start. We just gotta build on that with a few more building blocks and uh, I think we'll be solid. I'm gonna see what I can do with this, see what we can get in free agency and I'll show you guys after. Okay, we're at free agency. Free agency is very good. There's a lot of talented players, but they're Pretty much all on the offensive side of the ball. Still guys that we could really use and we're gonna get all of them, oh my God. This is gonna be great. We got Mike Williams, stud wide receiver, Gary and Conley, a little help at corner, nothing crazy, but he'll help. Odell, he's gonna be our number two option. That's a great number two option for Huntley. Ronnie Harrison, he was our big time defensive free agent signing. We needed help at safety, he's gonna help us out. Melvin Ingram on the line, not great, but it's better than what we had. James Daniels. James Daniels is going to be the final piece of our offensive line. It's amazing now. We get Ricard at fullback. It's going to help. It's not crazy. We still need a lot of help on defense, and that's where we're going in on for the draft. I'm going to the draft now. I'll see you guys there. All right. Uh, recording software glitched, so we're just getting back to it. Finished up the draft. Kyle Hamilton was our first pick. He's going to be a stud. Jordan Davis was our second pick. He'll develop into someone good, but he does have to develop first. And same with Devin Lloyd. He'll help, but he's got to develop first. Those are the only picks I actually made. Um, team's got some work for sure. The offense is going to have to carry, but the offense is extremely good now. So it just might be able to. I think we'll probably make the playoffs just because our offense is going to score a ton of points. The defense is going to be rough, but hopefully it's good enough that these guys can develop and turn into something decent so that they can be good by the time we make it to the playoffs. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna simulate this next season and I'll see you guys at the playoffs. Okay, so our team did very, very well, 15 and two. Unfortunately, I was stupid and Huntley, I guess got cut from our team this last season. I have no idea why. Um, 
because he was supposed to be here for longer. We had him signed, but uh, he was gone. So I guess we're gonna check free agents and then try to find him on the trade market. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can find him and hopefully I can get him back on our team. We are in the playoffs. The team did really well, even without him. It looks like we're gonna have to trade for him. So I'm gonna go make a trade for him. I turned off the trade deadline so I can make that happen. Uh, and then we'll get into this first game, which I guess is gonna be the divisional. We don't even have to play in the conference, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna make a trade for him, figure out how we can get him back on the team and then we'll see what happens. All right, we got Huntley back on the team. He's a lot better than Goff was. So it should make our team even better. And we were already 15 and two. I don't know how Goff led us to that number. Honestly, I have no idea. It makes no sense, but we're just gonna let it happen. Our first playoff game is against the Niners. They're eight and nine, so it should be an easy game. And it's close, but we win. We're gonna upgrade players and get into the conference championship. All right, conference championship is against the Cowboys. That's a little bit tougher. And we put up 56 points on them. That is insane. 56 points is incredible. We're in the Super Bowl just like that. I'm going to hop in and actually start playing this game. We have uh, Huntley, so it should be pretty fun. I'm honestly looking forward to it. We're going to hop into it. I'll see you guys in there. Okay, we are hopping into the game. Just going to play offense because it's all about Huntley. Uh, defense is going to be up to our boys to get it taken care of for us. And uh, it's a little bit scary to be honest because they are not that good. They're not terrible. They developed, they got better, but it's pretty much like 80s across the board for the most part. So hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can get a little bit better. Gonna start out right here doing exactly what Huntley does. We find our tight end, TJ Hawkinson. Solid pickup of nine yards right there. Um, I mean, that's easy, it worked. We need more of that. Let's see what we can do here. Hawkinson again might just be the look if he gets open. I like that route, but I don't know if it's, uh, we could have tried to force it. I don't know why I just threw that up to Odell. That was not smart. That was forcing it, uh, but it's fine, it's fine. Incomplete pass, that's all it was. We're gonna give the ball to our running back, Swift. He's a stud, we got a great line. Doesn't do a great job there, but it's enough to get a first down. That's all we need. We just need first downs. First downs consistently throughout this game and we're gonna win. Take some time off the clock. Let's not let Chubb wear our defense down too much and uh, not let him wear the clock down too much, I guess, too. Gonna go right back to Hawkinson here, and it's another completion. Nothing crazy, nice and short, he gets tackled by Grant Delpit. But if we get those completions to TJ consistently, this game is ours to lose. Um, might try to go to Mike Williams here, might go to Bryant. I totally lied, we're gonna hand it off. We got a good front here, and gonna cut it upfield right away. DeAndre Swift, nice pickup right there. Nice, nice pickup right there. That's exactly what we need, we need more of it. Got to go to Swift as much as possible, and uh, I think we can. He's going to be open. Not open. He's going to be able to have room to run consistently, I think. And we're going to go to Hawkinson again. Oh, dang. Greg Newsom comes off the ball well. Comes back, makes a play on Hawkinson. He had space to work. Should have had something there. He does not, though. It's all right. Let's see what we can get here. Can Odell get open on the outs? We're going to send it, and he... He flat out drops it. That was a good throw from Tyler Huntley. Honestly, a really, really good throw. I liked that. I liked the look we had, but he can't come up with it. Bryant is out there in place of Hawkinson on this play. That's not good. And I run straight into Clowney for the sack. That is not the way that I wanted that first drive to go. That was ugly, but we're going to punt it away, and we're going to trust our defense to make a play. And they do. They get an interception. No idea who it was, but that is a massive play for us. Uh, honestly, they're moving the ball really easy, which is not good long-term in this game. But doesn't matter because... We get the interception. Mike Williams gets his first catch of the game right there. Five yard pickup. Huntley's three for six for 19 yards. That's not very good, but uh, it could be a lot worse, I suppose. Let's try to get Huntley out moving. See if we can get some yards with his legs. That'd be helpful. Uh, we could go to Bryant right there, but we're gonna hold on to it on the run. Throw it to Mike Williams and it's a solid catch. Denzel Ward is there, but it's too late. Um, honestly, I really have been having fun seeing Tyler Huntley up on my feed all the time. He's been popping up left and right, and he really looks like he could be the real deal. He's been playing some great, great football. Um, I don't really know what to expect from him. It's tough to tell. That is an amazing play by Mike Williams right there. He's completely bodies Greg Newsom for the touchdown. Hopefully that flag is not against us, but we'll see. Let's see, let's see what the flag is. Let's see what the flag is, and we'll go back to talking. It's going to be good. That's going to be a touchdown for us, and uh, Tyler Hunt. Yes, Tyler Huntley and uh, Mike Williams. It's taking me a second to think right now. They're going to put us up here. Great drive by them. Defense needs to do its thing, and it does. 
You're gonna hold him to a field goal. We get the ball back with time to work. Uh, but yeah, Tyler Huntley looks like he really could be the real deal. It's tough uh, filling in for Lamar Jackson. That's a big guy. It's a big, uh, big time star in the NFL. He's got to fill those shoes, but he's done a really good job. He had four touchdowns against the Packers, almost beat them in prime time. That is no easy task. He almost came back and led a comeback win the week before. He really has been showing potential. Obviously, he's young. Obviously, he's got, uh, I mean, he's got issues. There's a reason why he was undrafted and why he was able to just sit basically on the practice squad for a while. There's there's reasons for that, um, but he's really shown that he has some potential, and I think it'd be a ton of fun. We're just going to sling it up to our big man once again. And Mike Williams can't come down with it. I thought he had that one, honestly. It went right into his hands, but Greg Newsom, I guess, knocks it away, and okay, okay, never mind. I thought they were going to score off of it, but they do not, and uh, we're going to get a shot to go down and stretch our lead a little bit here. They did score off of it. They just didn't score a touchdown. That's the important part. Anyways, I really do think that uh, Tyler Huntley could be could be someone worth watching out for. There's going to be a lot of teams that need quarterbacks this offseason. If the Ravens can get a haul for him, it kind of makes sense to trade him. I mean, Lamar Jackson doesn't miss much time. He's only missed a couple games. I think he's missed time in a few different games, but this last weekend was the first start that he's missed since he took over. Um, so obviously you don't expect that to continue to happen much if he's only missed one start in his whole whole uh, career So does it make sense to hang on to a super valuable backup? I don't know Maybe it gives Lamar Jackson a little more freedom to run a little more crazy and stuff That could be a benefit of it, but I just don't see it being worth a lot of value if they are offered a lot This quarterback class is really weak too, which I think has a has a chance to really impact someone like Huntley this offseason There's no rookie quarterbacks that are gonna be worth high first round picks there's really to me there's no guys worth taking a flyer on even in this draft class i kind of like matt corral but that's really it um so i just i i don't know i don't i don't love what i'm seeing from this draft class i don't i don't I, i'd almost take someone like huntley over most of them so if a team really wants a quarterback why would they not try to give up something good for them and why would the ravens turn it down if they get a good offer for their backup quarterback it's all a tough situation. I don't really know how I expect it to play out. I think if Huntley starts this next week and plays really well, he could play himself into a starting role somewhere. Um, someone could end up wanting to go after him. Someone like the Lions would be a really good fit. They could really use a quarterback. We just get a beautiful, uh, beautiful play right there by the defense to give us the ball back. <laughs> I thought the Browns converted, they did not, and we're gonna get another chance to stretch the lead here. Uh, the Browns haven't, haven't been able to hang with us yet, and right there, beautiful throw to Odell. Moving the ball super easily right now. Um, so Lions fans, if something like this happens, would you guys be happy? Uh, let me know, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, it's, it's, it seems like it'd be a better option than Goff. I mean, he certainly brings more to the table than Goff, I think. Um, Goff has been stepping up the last few weeks, though. He has. There's been some big improvement from him, and that's honestly been fun to see. It's nice to see him succeeding. Nice to see the Lions winning a couple games. Um, but, like, still, he's not crazy good. He doesn't offer a ton. I would expect him to want to go after someone like Huntley if they could get him for a reasonable offer. Right there, Odell's going to drag Denzel Ward into the end zone for another touchdown. Huntley's doing whatever he wants right now. This has not been difficult at all. We've been able to complete pretty much every pass since our first drive or so. And defense is also making stands left and right. This is going exactly how you want it to. Um, also, Ravens fans, if uh, if you guys let go of Huntley, what would you guys want in return for something like that? He may honestly be a free agent at the end of this offseason. I don't actually know. I probably should have looked into that. Um, he may be a free agent. I'm not 100% sure. But if the Ravens are going to trade someone like him, uh, what would you guys want for him? I mean, what do you think is a fair offer for a guy like that? He's not gonna get as much as like the big-time stars, obviously, but he is really young and he's talented, so there there may be the chance for something there. Uh, more than people would expect, I think, honestly. But either way, let's win this game. Let's make it quick. Let's finish this up. Uh, we only got one quarter left. We're dominating pretty much through three. Uh, it's gonna be the end of the third quarter. We're up 21 to six. Haven't even really been using our run game, which should be really effective with our offensive line. And we just haven't needed to go for it, honestly. Swift's, or not Swift, Huntley's been able to take care of it on his own without Swift. 
And that's uh, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Uh, right here, got some good blocking. Jamal Williams gets to the outside, breaks a tackle. He's going to go down. John Johnson Jr. Or not John Johnson Jr. John Johnson the third, second, Something like that. He takes him down, but uh, not before a big play. We're going to keep that clock rolling here and see if Swift can uh, pick up another first down or so for us. Cut it up field. Easy first down for Swift. Good blocking from the receivers downfield. Amon Ross St. Brown. Nice, nice block thrown by him. Not what I would expect from a little guy like that, but that's the type of play we need for this offense. Let's see what we can do. Can we find our way into the end zone? We really don't need to. I don't know why I cut that back so sharp, but it doesn't matter. It's another nice pickup. Five yards right there. Could have been a little more, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's see. Swift, come on, man. Straight up the middle. Straight up the middle. Pick up that first. And not going to get it. Not going to get it there. We do get stops. A little unfortunate. Not thrilled with that, to be honest. But let's see. Come on, Swift. Come on, man. Ah, I don't know what I want. We're, we're going to pop it the other direction. We're going to run straight at Miles Garrett and JOK, and we're going to pick it up. We get the edge still, even with those stud playmakers on the left side. They're not going to be able to slow us down. They're calling their timeouts now, too. It's going to be too little too late, though. We're already under the two-minute warning. At the very best, they get the ball back with a minute left, and they're going to be down by, like, three scores. There's, there's no chance. And DeAndre Swift breaks a tackle, but Clowney's going to wrestle him down. That's another first down. And uh, we should just be kneeling the ball out here pretty much, I think. It should just be kneeling it down from here. We'll see what they do. Uh, it looks like they're just going to run it in, take no time off the clock, and score anyways. I don't know why we did that. We're just going to let it happen. The Browns are running the clock out for us. That's the end of the game. We win with Tyler Huntley. I don't know if this man's going to be a Super Bowl winning quarterback. But he looks like he's got potential. He really does. He's shown he's shown that he can throw the ball. He's shown he can run the ball. He can execute without crazy talented receivers. Um, I, you know, I think there's something that I think I think he could be something. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if he'd go to the Lions. I don't know if the Bra the Ravens would let him go. I don't. I don't know. But it's just fun to check it out and see what would happen. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate all the support. Please drop a like. Drop a sub. Helps me out a ton. Really does mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.